Well, good morning, guys. <laughs> Second morning. Now, I've uh, I learnt a couple of things last night. <laughs> uh, I don't know if they're good things. It's probably um, one's my fault. Actually, no, both are basically my fault. Now, first thing I need to mention is my sleeping system. Now, it's it's. It is too big for this boat. It's far too big. It's hard to tie off and stuff like that. I should have just went with my gut and got the um, the little XTM swag that I was going to use. Now, I was still able to set it up, but then there was bugger all room. But I still had a really nice sleep. I was comfy in that. It was just hard to sort of move around. Whereas with that XTM swag, you sort of just put it right there and you've got like a, a width of about three, 400 mil to walk around in. Um, and then the second thing is, I must have a bit of a dicky bung in this um, in this boat because I woke up and there was about bloody 30, 40 litres down the bottom of the boat. So I bailed that out this morning. Um, so that th these just all add on to the list of what you have to sort of do, you know, like um, I didn't think that was something I had to worry about. So my plan is tonight what I'll do before I go to bed because it's going to be sitting in the in the water all night again i'll bail out whatever i can i'll get a bilge pump as well but and then um it, it should be fine overnight which it was you know last night i'll also get a new bung for the next trip um and reset the actual plate there with silicon around it just in case it is that and i'll re-silicon where my transducer and my um depth sounder speed uh wheel is <sighs> Jeez, i'm waffling on a bit sorry guys so what we're going to do, we're going to both anchor up in the middle of this river here and we're going to cook our brekkies up. I've got this little butane burner here and while I'm cooking I'd love to sort of run you by the system that I'm using. But before we start cooking brekkie, we're going to throw the crab nets out, see how we go. Because we're not too bloody far from um, the mouth. We thought we've got them there, they're baited up, we may as well just throw them in and see what becomes of it. I, I am not expecting much. <laughs> How did you sleep, Jazz? I slept good, mate. No yeah. worries? Yeah, actually good. I don't sleep that great on camp trips, but I slept good, eh? Yeah. And you've got a 900, haven't you? I'm pretty sure yours is a 900 swag. I think so. And just yeah. one of the um, jet, like, uh, the originals, you yeah. know, where you just tie up the front. Yeah. And that works well for you? Yeah. Fine, yeah, mate. that's exactly what I, what I was picturing. I don't know why I was a freaking idiot and changing. So guys, this is the breakfast setup that I'm using and the cooking setup, and it's one thing that's gone right so far um, in the last 12 hours, I reckon, <laughs> apart from all the water and stuff. This works out really bloody well. Took a leaf from Jared's book. That's upside down. Took a leaf from Jared's book and got myself a little inset cooker, which I thought would be perfect because they're good for wind. And it's like a one pan thing. So it, uh, my dish tonight when I cook dinner is a one pan dish. So I'm very interested to see how this goes. It's, like, it's nice because I'm sitting on one of my eskies and it's like a nice little hub. You know, I can grab food from there, oil from there. It's bloody good. We'll see how we go anyway. So Jazz, what do you think, mate? Do these get really hot or do you yeah. leave them on high? Um. Yeah, it doesn't take long for them to get hot. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, not wrong. That's good. Scotty, my boy, that's for you. That's the good shit. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Magic. So the rain's obviously coming in at lunchtime, I see. Yeah, I reckon. Oh, nice, Jazz. These are good. Right. Yeah. What are you having for brekkie, man? Uh, I'm just doing basic, bud. Stew? And the cheese. Oh, really? What are you doing with the stew? You doing anything with that? Oh, 
Maybe lunch or something? Yeah, nice. Jeez, I've only been using this for about a minute now. Freaking stoked, dude. You're not wrong. That gets hot as. Jared's on his, um... Jared's on the, uh, bait board. I did get one, but it's just, it's a one stem. And it's just not, not sturdy at all. Don't trust it. So Jazz has got the, um, the double. That's good. That's handy, eh? Yeah, that was set up on the boat when we got it, so. <laughs> Guys, you're going to understand a lot of the ideas that uh, I have, I don't have them. I steal them from Jared. Because him and his family are just so good at packing stuff. I don't know what it is. Good prep work, eh, mate? Yeah, try, try yeah. to anyway. Yeah. Bit like me changing my sleep system at the last minute. <laughs> Dick head! <laughs> Perfect. Complaining about it being too <laughs> comfy. <laughs> it's too big. Too big. It's too Quite big and big. too comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing I'm picking up straight away from this, and Jazz, I'm just wondering about you as well. Is there a hot area? Like obviously that area there. Yeah. And then out here you can sort of keep shit warm. I think I'm the, loving uh, it, mate. Right? The yeah. ring underneath goes like around. The oh, outside. the outside, gotcha. Well, the outside might get a little bit hotter, but. Yeah, nice. No, they're wicked. They're so yeah, good. mate, I'm stoked. And then you just wipe them out, aren't they? Yeah. Non stick, wipe yeah. them out, paper towel. So. <laughs> Woo! I need Darren's hands. Yeah, I know. <laughs> As he hands. <laughs> As he hands. Oh, loving this. I really am. Beautiful morning. Now, weather, Jazz, it's meant to come in, isn't it? At 11, uh, around 11 to 1. So that's fine. As, as I said, I don't mind. All the stuff's prepared. I've prepared it to get wet, so that's fine. But as long as oh, I'm thinking of cooking my dinner nice and early like this on the boat, yep. leaving it, you know, like that. Yep. One pan dish, mate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sweet. And then we just get on the beers and find a little spot again for the where we could light a fire again. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think. I don't know whether the rain will be any heavier or yeah. any more than yesterday. We topped a bit yesterday. Yeah, we did, didn't we? Good. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't mind it. It was on and off, though. Well, there we go. What's that? Sourdough, avocado, tomato, bulk of salt and pepper, bacon, <laughs> and our favourite. Take the health out of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mate, love to no, think of that. Mate. Enjoy. Ciao, bud. Oh, finish cooking this brekkie and then maybe check those nets, see how we go. What's the plan for today, dude? Keep going up, we'll keep. Yeah, see how far we can yeah. go this way. And... Jared seems to think that maybe with the. Um... Jared seems to think that maybe with the water height, because it, it was high, eh? Especially mm. that bridge, man. Yeah. That bridge, um, that was real low. I oh, know they're a bit hard to eat, sorry, dude. No, you're right. Um, Good. That we might be able to get all the way to Pinjara. Yeah. So we'll work our way down there. I've got pretty good amount of fuel, I reckon, to go down and then yeah. all the way back. I think. Safe. And uh, actually, your your um, fuel economy is pretty much the same as mine, eh? Yeah, it's it's been pretty good, eh? It's good, isn't it? I think we'll be all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's been good. Goes well, goes right. well. And we'll check these nets, see how we go. They'll be bugger all. As I said, we're not expecting much, but, you know, it, it's something to do, isn't it? <laughs> and then we'll head down the river. We'll see you when we're heading down the river. Um, and I'll have a chat about the um, the setup that I've got. I've got a couple of ideas to run passes that I think has worked out well for this trip. <laughs> Other than taking on water. <laughs> yeah, bugger all in there, of course. But I think we're a maybe a little bit too far down, not sure. Um, so there is a pretty open plan for today. There's meant to be rain, like I said, from 11 till about 2 o'clock. Oh, little showers, sorry. They reckon about 1 to 5 mil. We've got our fishing rods. We might have a, just a flick on the way up, see how far we can get up this bloody river. Let's see how we go, guys. Beautiful, calm morning. The 
there's just, I reckon there's something just unbelievable that I don't think uh, people without a boat can understand. Oh, it's weird. I know it sounds bloody big headed, but I mean, this freaking feeling of just cruising down real slow down a river, taking it all in. Well, look at that. You just see everything from a different perspective. Um, and I must admit, you can hear a lot more if you're not near the engine. I remember with old Smokey, the Jono, um, all you'd hear was the motor going, you know, but it's still absolutely awesome. Some of the best bloody trips of my life, actually. But with this, I must admit, just all the things that I like about this are, are, are what old Smokey was missing because my hand, I remember my hand on the throttle just holding it the whole time, used to go numb because of the vibration. Whereas this here, you just leave it, leaving the throttle on a little bit and just putting down. And it's a beautiful feeling, you know. Oh, I've got drink holders too. Just sitting here like this and just cruising down. And it's even better when you know that you've got a good reliable engine and that you know that you've got a long way to go. It's always good to have like a, I love doing, that's what I like doing on my trips, having like a goal to get towards each day. Makes it feel like you've accomplished something. Makes you earn the beer anyway. Well, this is it pretty much on time. We're um, it's quarter to 11 now. So it's just started sprinkling. And do you know what? I'm not even that pissed off because the good thing is about these parts of the river, um, worse come to worse, if it does start pissing down, I'll just pull in under, under, under some of these trees, you know, nice and easy. This is only a sprinkle though. It's actually quite refreshing. Not gonna lie. Ducks over there. <laughs> yeah, they have got the same idea. I'm copying them. Something really nice about being nice and warm and rain. So it's it's sort of pissing down quite hard here. It's beautiful though. Love it. <laughs> Long as we go this direction for the next three hours, then I won't really get wet. <laughs> okay, so we've gone as far as we can go now. We've been on the water now for about three hours, I reckon. Anyway, it's a little concrete wall that we can't actually get past. Um, I'm going to pull off of that jetty back there and stuff out. Um, a plane? Or whatever, yeah. Yeah, beauty, sounds good. Because we also could do lunch as well, don't we? That's good, mate, yep. Oh, I'll make you back there and stuff it out. Beauty, Jazz. Alright, we are going to pull up. There's a jetty back here. And um, we'll probably just start making our way um, back down because it's a fair while. It's a fair while away. So, and then we've got lunch along the way, and then we've got to find a camp spot uh, where we can set up a fire for later on. She's pissing down, mate, and we're dry. Oh, I love hey, how your bimini you goes over. <laughs> nah, exactly. Beauty, so Jared's just thrown on a bit, little bit of stew for us each. Absolutely perfect for what we've got right now. It's pretty cold. She's pretty rainy, um, as you can see. But what we've done, we backed up to the shore here, got both the Biminis covering. Sorry, and mate. no, you're right, no stress. No, that you won't pick that up, Jazz. That's all good, mate. Um, and we pulled up to the, uh, backed up to the shore. Jared's got his anchor out, and then we've just sort of, this is real soft sand here, so we've just dropped the um, props into the ground just to sort of hold, hold the position. So this is really nice. We've gotten a beer out each, haven't we, mate? Or I'm just about to get one, actually. <laughs> so, oh, actually, while well, I've got yours. Jared, you tried that yesterday, didn't you? Yeah. I have to promote this, mate. I, I really do like this one. Shelter have got a brand new bloody red ale out. This has just been released apparently. I think maybe probably a week or two or three before you see this video. So, um, 
I tried one during the week with Cam also, and Jared's tried one. Um, Jazz, what did you think, mate? It's, I like it. It's good. Yeah. Um, I'll be straight up. I, I wouldn't have. You couldn't have. It's not. It. I don't feel like it's a session ale. Um, but yeah, nice. Yep. It is yep. nice. It's got like a. I don't know. To me, it's got like a wood grainy. Yeah. Flavor to yeah, it. Yeah. Gotcha. It's That's interesting. No, beauty. All right. Well, let's crack him open. Cheers, guys, and cheers, Shelter. You guys are bloody legends. Tom, Matt, Jason, and all the guys, thank you so much. Yeah, I find it crispy, quite sharp. It's got a, quite a sharp taste. Yeah. I don't know if sharp's the right way to say it, but, like, it's you know it's there. Yeah. <laughs> um, how's the colours? That's pretty close to bloody emu export. Yeah. <laughs> but classier. <laughs> So like I said before guys, I wanted to run you through a couple of the items that I've added to the boat and the exact sort of setup that, um, that I'm using for this trip and what I'm going to change. Just while Jared's heating up that stew, we've got some nice bloody buttered bread coming up. Mm, perfect. Now, let me start at the front. I've upgraded the stereo in it. It's from Amazon. Um, I freaking love it. There's a heap of little Amazon items on here that I've that I've gotten for quite cheap and how, their delivery man is just out, insane. Out of this world how quick they can get it to you. And I've upgraded the, uh, the marine speakers at the front. I've got two more at the back that I'm going to upgrade sooner or later. But that seems to be going bloody awesome. You should hear the brand. It's called Pile. <laughs> but no, nah, I'll tell you what, I'm a bit of a convert at the moment. It's, it's going pretty well. Sounders and that I haven't changed yet, but I must give a shout out to Lee. Lee, you know who you are, mate. He's He bloody saw the video of when I first... Um, showed the boat and he, he said oh look i've got a sounder laying around because he was a bloody professional fisherman and he goes look i'll um i'll i'll, I'll give you that you know what i mean and I, i'm just so thankful for it absolute bloody champion lee and we'll catch up for a beer mate asap okay what else dashboard so in the dashboard i'll just keep um yeah right jared you having a shit <laughs> In the dashboard, I found this handy last night. I keep my headlamp and this, um, it's like a tactical torch in there. That's from um, Earth Track. Earth Track, thank you. Yeah, Davo and, um, and Barry and all that, thanks so much. Magic. Oh, and these lights, gunnel lights. Now, there was gunnel lights in this, um, but they were halogen, so I ordered some Amazon freaking LED ones. They work really bloody well. Um... You'll see later on tonight when I sort of set up all my swag and that. Uh, like they, they light it up real nicely, don't, don't you reckon? Yeah. And I reckon you can't have a boat without one now. No, I no, can't. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, moving on. Now, for this one, uh, for previous tinny trips, I usually use, you know, that big, I think it's a 60 litre, might be a 55 litre uh, Evercool Esky. That, that, that did fine, no worries at all, but I was so sick of sort of when we stopped, I'd have to lift it up and it's, re it's really heavy because it was full of all, all, um, all the alcohol and all the food and it all used to get muddled up into one esky. So what I've done on this one, I bought two Dometic um, 33 litres and these have worked freaking awesome. I've kept all the food in there. Um, so the food's in one and the drinks are in the other and I found that's really good to keep them separate and the other thing is that this works bloody awesome as a um, as a boat seat it sits it's a ni nice height it's nice to move around and it's grippy on the bottom as well because I did take the seats out for this trip so and then what's next okay one thing I need to change I uh, my plan was to do all my cooking just like Jared there on his bait board, but I got a bait board and it's only got one stem and it's just not strong enough. It's <laughs> so I'm yeah, not cooking a meal on that unless it's some milkshake. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, as simple as this, Jared said the same thing. I have to make it a double stem one, so I'll just get a couple more rod holders and change to that exact setup there. Absolutely perfect. Okay, what else? Oh, that cooker used it this morning, insane. I'll keep that on the boat now, yeah, probably yeah. permanently yeah. use it for when I take the girls out and stuff. Yeah. And then, oh, down here, so fuel. So that's a 24 litre just on the right there, and that's a 10 litre spare. And then the battery's under there. Uh, I've wor I've, I've, we've worked it pretty well for this trip. I think we'll have a shitload. Yeah. I've got pretty much nearly a full tank now, and we've got 
we've covered a lot of ground too, haven't we, mate? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that that works pretty well. Um, the only thing is, uh, as I mentioned before, that bung. I've got to re re silicon that bung and refit that the actual um, receiver for the bung. So it's a little bit concerning to wake up with the <laughs> with the amount of water. I don't think I filmed it, but it was like, oh oh god. And then in the gunnels, I got the old oh guys. If you're ever wanting to do a tinny trip or anything like that, and you want a you know good rubbish bag freaking bucko's um mr buckaroonie bloody i don't know if he still does not bucko but if you're watching mate thanks so much for sending me these i've been wanting to thank you for ages absolutely awesome mate. you just pull up back at back of the boat ramp pour it all out fold it back up and it folds up to nothing throw it straight back in the gunnel there got the axe in the gunnel for the firewood bought a bag of firewood a couple of bags of firewood from home uh, this has worked pretty well. This is the bloody the drifter table this one here That's actually been a bit of a savior for me because I was planning on cooking everything on that bait board But I ended up um, cooking it on that and that's bloody magic got my fishing gear there in the um, In the grab me gear Clear top that works well. And, oh my god actually the one thing that's really saved me this weekend and I've been using and I'll advocate it. if there's anything that I can ever put, you know, say you've got to bloody buy one if you if you're um doing tinny trips or without a bimini is this the grab me gear dry bag. This thing is insane. So in there I've got a full clothes bag, two pillows, um and two jumpers as well. So there's and there's plenty of room in it still. Jimmy, bloody well done, mate, for doing that. That's absolutely awesome. And then up the front here, geez, I'm running out of breath here. That's the camera bag. Camera bag goes in under here, and then that's my Grab Me Gear boat bag. <clears throat> boat bag I've showed you in previous episodes. Sorry, Jazz, I'm freaking talking your ear off here. Oh, you're off. <laughs> the boat bag I've showed you in um, previous episodes, that's got like a... So I don't need a fry pan anymore, because that includes a fry pan. Um, you know, paper towel, uh, spatula plates, you know, all that, all that bullshit, you know, and I'll throw that underneath the... Um, the front of the hull there keep the camera dry up there but just from looking around on the boat the things that i want to change are pretty simple i, I need to do that i need to do that bung i'm going to change my navigation lights same as yours where'd you get those from by the way just base here yeah and they fit nicely with the previous drilled holes yeah. beautiful that's good um but the thing is i think i might have explained it a bit earlier but i'll try and explain it a bit better here is the the swag's way too big. I changed my mind at the last minute. I spent some money on buying a freaking XTM 900 mil wide swag, and I should have just stuck to that because I tried it. I did a dry run with it. It was beautiful. No, indecisive Peter, you know? Indecisive Peter. Always changing his mind. Oh, and another thing. Sorry, guys, for all the plugs. Cam and Tiff, while touring, got the old chamois towel. Absolute lifesaver this morning. <laughs> Jared had to sit there and watch me bloody floss my uh, <laughs> floss my undercarriage this morning. You didn't mind, did you? No. no <laughs> uh, yeah. Cousin. Yeah, cousin. <laughs> um, and then the other thing would be the Bimini, which I installed. But I'd love to get some clears for that because I've been looking at you all weekend and going, oh, he's nice and dry in there. Whereas what I have to do is like I'll put it in, um, you know, put the th uh, accelerator on and then stand back in the middle here so that all the shit doesn't come in the all the rain <laughs> come in the front. <laughs> but no, nah, guys, that's basically it. I'll um, I'll update you in future trips. You know, I, I want to just I want to sharpen up the um, storage and stuff like that. But it seems to be working pretty well. But I think that lunch is nearly ready. We've got some fresh bread in that there. Uh, the plan for this afternoon is to now, we've got a fair bit of a trek to go back to our uh, camp spot where we're going to, you know, get the fire going and stuff like that, sit by, have a couple of drinks. And then this afternoon, I think when I'm cooking dinner, I'd love to have a look at your setup, Jazz. Yeah. Because you have you actually said before, didn't you, that you've refined it pretty me, well? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, spot on. Usually take way too much. Yeah. I always come away from a trip... Um, thinking to myself oh shit that's a good idea always and it's always jared so yeah like i said any idea i have it's usually come from jared 
<laughs> Alright guys, we're going to get into this. I don't know what's going to happen, what we're going to do, but I'll see you when we're doing it. <laughs> Okay guys, it is 10 to 5, we've rocked up at the same bloody camp we were at last night, um, so we're going to get a nice little fire going, I've got a nice little one pan um, dish that I'm going to cook for us tonight, uh, and what else, what else, once we're finished dinner, we're going to sit round the fire until the wood burns out, and then we're going to go over there and bloody anchor. We're going to go over there and anchor and um, set up the swag in that. And tonight, 100%, I'm going to show you uh, with this setup exactly how I plan to do it. Just because it's a little bit different. And I'm taking on water, so I'm going to bail out the water before I go to sleep. And then in the morning, it's going to be, um, the boat's going to be half underwater. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be great footage. <laughs> I'm going to need Jared to bloody save me, so who, who knows? But stick around, let's see what we can come up with. Well guys, we've found camp. I've got this bugger preheating. I want to quickly show you what we have got for our dinner. Now it's probably going to skip from this intro straight to the end, but I reckon you guys will need to check out the little cooking segment that I have planned for this one. This is Pete's one pan chicken chorizo rice check it out sorry jazz no, no, oh i can fault. see it pounding you it's all right, go. <laughs> <laughs> no, no that's karma that's yeah. karma <laughs> Well, guys, this is finished. So, Jazz, how long do you think that was simmering for? 40 minutes? Yeah, yeah. I'd say 40 minutes. Yeah, that on. chicken yeah. now just breaks away. So, the last time you would have seen us, we were heading back, and then you would have seen me start this. Now, check out the actual cooking video for this. I really, really miss doing cooking videos, and I've got to admit, this freaking thing has been awesome for tinny trips. Um, it's got a lot more power than I thought it would be, but that chicken is just like, it's like pulled chicken. I'm very proud of this one, so check it out on the um, playlist. Now, the next time I'll see you guys is when I'm setting up my swag in the boat, and you will probably see, um, I've got a little bit of a different um, setup tonight, but you'll probably see why it was a little bit of a headache, and why I'm going back to the XTM, I reckon, so I'll see you then, guys. Thanks so much. I don't know if you can see that in the corner there, so we've just finished up um had dinner we're gonna have a little bit more of a bite before we go to bed um but jared's just over there let me just i don't know if you can you see that i hope you can <laughs> i'm asking you like you're right uh, what an idiot so he's just going to um anchor up then i'll pull up next to him we've got a couple of the little uh rubber buoys boys buoys in between and then i'll try and show you how this is all set up. Shit, that dinner was good. That dinner was unreal. So I'm waiting, I'll, I'll just let Jared um, anchor up, then I'll pull up beside him. It actually feels bloody good to be out in the water. Yeah. And that's it there.
Oh, that's better. That's better. You all good? Yeah, mate. Oh, you're cooking up brekkie, nice. Oh, I know we don't usually do brekkie. No, no. Stuck two seconds. Good stuff. Jeez, what is the time, Jazz? Six? Yeah, we've been up for a fair while actually. Um, you actually just caught me coming back from the old nature call there, but um, we usually, anyone who comes with me usually knows that you know we get up and on the last morning, get up, pack up, head off. So we've got a tiny bit of time because we're up super early this morning. So Jazz is making some um, toasted Samos. Night. Hey? Not yeah, night. exactly. Yeah, it's not a long drive, not, not as a, it's like a four hour, five hour drive. So bloody magic. We'll knock this down and then I'll see you on the way back to the boat ramp because there's no wind this morning and going along um, through that channel actually there was a bloke who messaged me on Facebook I think his name's Alan and he sort of let me know that the channel that we went through can be quite bloody hectic and you'll see at the start of this you would have seen at the start of this video it was quite hectic but I'm thinking that this morning because the wind's only 3 k's an hour apparently like most of the day I reckon it should be a milk pond and a nice little ride home Next minute, we're fucking in a squall. <laughs> See you out in the water, guys. So I've been, we're, we're on our way back and I was just thinking to myself, um, I said to you guys yesterday that I had a heap of bloody water come on board now I don't know what the hell's going on now it's playing games with my mind um, woke up this morning on the boat the boat's been in the water all night been sleeping on it so it's and I bailed a fair bit of water out before I went to um, to, uh, to hop into bed woke up this morning there's bugger all in there I, I just don't get it I don't know what it is Do you have an explanation guys let me bloody know <laughs> Woo -hoo! milk pond love it this will be a nice run back, actually, compared to when we came in. See you back at the boat ramp. Woo! Well guys, what a bloody beautiful crossing that was. That was a nice little send off for this trip. So we're not far from the boat ramp now. So I think I'm gonna end this uh, little series here. Now I've got a heap of stuff coming up. I'm, I'm gonna be able to uh, bank up a heap of um, content for you guys because I, this is the first time I've filmed I think in two months. So yeah, I was able to um, bank up a fair few videos um, to get, it, get me through that period there. But um, look, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And, you know, throw a comment down below if there's anything you want to suggest for me for my setup. That'd be really good. Um, but yeah, like I said, it, it's uh, overwhelming the bloody support I get from you guys. And it means, means the world. It honestly does. So thank you so much for watching. You know the spiel, guys. WICambingAdventures.com.au if you want any merch or anything. Um, consider becoming a Patreon if you like what, what, what I'm doing over here. So, no stress either way. Have a bloody good night, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. See you soon, guys.